so now we have our basic um, 2D geometry. And the first thing we're going to do is get rid of this top view by just orbiting around, just so we can see that it's actually a flat plane right now. So now we have to jut it up so it's nine feet tall. So we're going to go ahead and, and select, this, select this tool called Create Spaces from Diagram. So when we click that, it asks us how high, basically, we want our um, floor to be. And we're only going to have one floor in this case, so we're going to make it nine feet and only one floor. You hit OK. And now it goes ahead and, and pops up for us, which is really nice. OK. So now the next step that we're going to do is, again, we're going to select our whole model, and we're going to do something called surface matching. So we're going to use this tool. And what surface matching does is it makes sure that all the outside walls are treated as outside walls in OpenStudio and Energy Plus, and that it makes sure that all of the inside walls are treated as such, and all the floors that are touching the ground are treated as ground surfaces. So let's go ahead and do that and click Match an Entire Model. We can hit OK. And now the way we can check is by rendering by a boundary condition, which is this little blue box. So um, we can do that right there, which is sort of nice. Um, and that's how we can render by the boundary condition. So the other thing that we want to do here is we want to rename these spaces. So that way we know what we're working with after we stop working in SketchUp. So what we're going to do is go to Inspector. Actually, no, this is what we're going to do. We're going to select each space, and we are going to look at the attributes. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll just use these sort of standard um, space types right now. We're going to go in and edit these later. But first, we're just going to make these the closed offices. And we're going to use that same construct the construction set for the office. Um, we're going to make this a thermal zone. And then we're going to set ideal air load status to yes. And we're just going to pick a the closed office thermostat. So let me just go over what these type of things do. The space type sort of sets um, what type of space it is with regards to schedules for people and lights and occupancy and all that, and plug loads. The construction sets really, OK, what are the walls? What are the roof? What's the floor generally made of? And since we have all of that, um, we are going to um, you know, do that later. It looks like I lost. There we go. So since we have all of um, our constructions, we will modify that later, but this is sorted by default. The thermal zone is how many thermal zones this building is going to be treated as. What we're going to do actually is make each office its own thermal zone here, and the bathrooms are its own thermal zone and the mechanical room its own thermal zone. And why we're going to do that um, is a little too complex for this video, but it's discussed um, sort of later in, in other Open Studio or Energy Plus materials. So let's go ahead and hit OK for this office. And then we're going to do, we're going to make both the bathrooms, both the um, same space attributes. So we're going to go ahead and modify those. So we're still going to do the space type, and we're going to make a restroom. We're going to do construction set of that still, the thermal zone. We're going to make a new thermal zone. We're going to change this to yes. So all this ideal air load status does is basically makes it so that the building can calculate a heating and cooling load without having any HVAC equipment uh, assigned to it, which is uh, what we're going to do in these series of videos. So then we're going to do the thermostat, and we're going to have that be the restroom. If we can find it, there it is, and we'll hit OK. OK, so now let's go ahead and do this office. It's just the same thing. Last but not least, we'll do the mechanical room. All 
Okay, so now let's look at what we've done. So the first thing we can notice is um, that if we render by space type, we can see that each of these is a different space type, which is perfect. So now, but you can see that this office is colored the same as this office. And then if we click this other render by thermal zone, the two offices now switch colors because we made them two separate thermal zones. Um, the other thing we can not notice if we re render by boundary condition and we make it a little x-ray is that the interior walls as we look around are green, the exterior walls are blue, and the floor is brown. So um, that's sort of the way that our surface matching worked. Okay, so let's do one more thing before we end this portion of the video. Let's go ahead and rename these rooms just so that way when we open them up later we'll know what we're doing. So we're going to go to Object Inspector. After we click on each room, instead of Space 101, we're going to name this our West Office. Then Space, this is going to be the Mechanical Room. This is going to be the West Bathroom. This is going to be the East Bathroom. And the East Office. Great. So now when we go back to find that later, we'll know which is which. So the other thing I want to do is I want to go down to Thermal Zone. And I want to see, I know that Thermal Zone 1 is the West Office. office. So let's go do that. And let me do this a little bit more. So Thermal Zone 1 is the West Office. And then if I make this a little bit bigger, Thermal Zone 2 are the bathrooms. Thermal Zone 3 is the East Office. And Thermal Zone 4 is the Mechanical Room. Good. So now all the Thermal Zones and all of the um, offices are labeled. So that's it for this video. Next video, we'll start uh, defining more things about our spaces. Mm -hmm.